Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by paying final tribute to renowned rice and cattle farmer, community advocate and businessman Christian Datmanikchand. The well-known farmer was the father of the Minister of Education, the Honorable Priya Manikchand. The late Christian Dat Manik Chan has been hailed as a true fighter for farmers' rights and a proponent of community development. It is the sacrifices and hard work here that got you guys the education that you have now. And it is your love for his legacy that will allow you to continue. On Tuesday, President Ali engaged residents of Danamstil and neighboring communities in Region 3, where they were informed of government's goal, which includes plans for enhancing Danamstil's infrastructure. President Ali said that the $10 million contract has been awarded for the repair of the community ground in response to concerns raised by locals. This will help to facilitate the football training session and recreational activities. So we're going to be doing back the ground, we're doing back the pavilion here. Okay. And put them in a basketball court. President Ali, as part of his One Guyana vision, continues to visit communities across Guyana, meeting with residents and addressing their concerns. During his visit to Hague, West Coast Demerara, he announced some $275 million will be invested to execute critical road and revetment works along the main access road in the community. He said that the contracts for the project have been awarded, which will enable work to commence shortly. Because of the drainage on both sides of the road, we now have to put a revetment in 200 meters. So that is a priority now. And as we said, uh, every community in the country would benefit from streetlights. We just need time to get all of these things in place. Additionally, the president said the government will be looking at the possibility of converting the dam to a crusher-run surface to give farmers access to more than 500 acres of land. You have to have a proper maintenance plan and a proper monitoring plan. Once we have the maintenance and monitoring plan in place, we'll be able to have the dams in better shape and better condition, more consistently. So that is, that is what we can do for now. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, the Honorable Yu Todd, the Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Zulfikar Mustafa, the Minister within the Ministry of Public Works, the Honorable Diodat Indar, and other government officials accompany the President on the visit. On Wednesday, His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali conducted a walkabout in Tugville, South Georgetown, where he engaged residents on several issues affecting them. The first stop was at Tugville Community Centre ground where he announced major upgrades to the facility to foster youth involvement in sports in the area. And you know I'm working with sports personality across the country to reach into communities to work on developing positive attitude in community. And here in Tugville today we came because we're doing numerous uh, works in enhancing the infrastructure, the community infrastructure. The ground, the football ground, we're doing back the ground, the fence, the access road, creating a hard tarmac uh, for community uh, and lights for community persons to look at. In order to ensure youths are meaningfully engaged and lead positive lives, President Ali said technical and vocational training programs will be offered to young people within Tugville and surrounding areas. One of the major complaints now is that people can't find workers, they can't find laborers, they can't find skilled persons. Only today I had a meeting and that was a major complaint on a number of the projects. So we're taking young people from all these communities across the country, put them into accelerated technical training program, and then integrate them into the workforce. Yes, President Ali also committed to installing an information and communication technology ICT hub so that youths can pursue online studies through the Guyana Online Academy of Learning Goal Scholarship Program. I talked to some of the young people in relation to many of them are enrolled on, uh, enroll on the goal program, but they would like to have some access to the internet and yes. to computer facilities. So we're going to put in a small hub in this area with some computers and the internet so they can go there as a, a center to do the online program and the goal program. Yes. Dr. Ali has been traveling to communities across the country, listening to residents and providing immediate interventions where possible. 
The community engagements form part of the PPPC government's mandate to ensure residents are provided with equal opportunities to build sustainable communities and involve the citizens in decision-making. His Excellency President Irfan Ali said his government is seeking to forge partnerships that will make Guyana globally competitive for 2030 and beyond. The head of state made this assertion as he addressed the government-facilitated meeting between the members of the U.S. Korea Trade and Business Delegation, the private sector and senior government officials at the Arthur Chung Conference Center in Liliandal. He urged the private sector representatives to make good use of the opportunities highlighted through the bold thinking presentations and the forged necessary partnerships. On Friday, President Ali delivered his remarks at the opening of China's 5th International Import Expo 2022, which aims to provide a platform for countries around the world to display their products, promote their brands, and find business partners. The expo will host representatives from over 145 countries, regions, and international organizations. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to His Excellency President Xi Jinping and to the government and people of the People's Republic of China for their hosting of four successful editions of the China International Import Exposition. I'm confident that this year's Expo, the fifth, will be equally successful. The success of the expositions runs parallel with China's impressive economic strides. The country has emerged as a global economic giant, its economy being characterized by strong and sustained economic growth. These accomplishments have resulted in the improvement in its people's living standards. China, in turn, has expanded its relations with the rest of the world. It has intensified trade, investment, and developmental assistance with other parts of the developing world, including my own country, Guyana. Guyana remains deeply appreciative of the assistance and collaboration offered by China throughout the years in areas inclusive of human resource training and scholarships, medical cooperation, food security and agriculture, and technological and infrastructural transformation. I'm confident that this fifth China International Import Exposition will provide an unparalleled opportunity for the promotion of business opportunities, increasing trade, and promoting greater economic collaboration between Guyana and China, and Guyana and the rest of the world. On Friday, His Excellency Dr. Irfan Ali attended the American Caribbean Maritime Foundation ACMF Anchor Awards Gala at the Fort Lauderdale Yacht Club in Florida, where he underscored the importance of the maritime sector. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.